Hello, Dave Brennan with Case IH. I want to talk to a little bit today about product creation. So the product that we're going to be applying when pulling a 2000 series early riser planner uh, using the Isobus solution on an AFS Connect Magnum or Steiger tractor. So let's talk about product creation. It's going to be done in two different areas. One can be done pre-season. So if I've got a list of those varieties, I can easily add those into my product library. Let's step through that process. So we're going to go ahead and go into uh, the vehicle management uh, icon at the top, and we're going to go into data. That data is going to access that, that portfolio of products for us. We're going to see that come up over here on the right-hand side. You're going to see product library. So I can select that product library. It's going to give me a drop-down window where I can add products at that point in time. So I can come in and add a product. I first want to name that product. Let's go ahead and call this um, uh, Big Cob Corn, right? So we're going to go in and we're going to find Big, put a space in there, Cob Corn. All right, and we're going to change that now form to seed. We want to make sure we select seed. That's going to give us that thousand seeds per acre uh, designation behind it. I've got to put in two app rates. These are going to be the two app rates that I can toggle between on the run screens. I'm going to touch that window, and if I press and hold that window, it's going to bring up that keypad for me. Now, the first thing I need to do is, is back those zeros out of there, and I'm just going to put in a generic rate of 15. That's 15,000 seeds per acre. That's going to be my app rate one. App rate two, again, press and hold. Delete those out. We're going to change that one to 17,000 seeds per acre. Now I've created those two application rates. I also need to create a min and a max app rate. So we'll just go ahead and change this one to maybe 10,000 seeds per acre, for example, as a min rate. And then my max is going to be pre-populated. I can change that as well. Change that to 19,000 seeds per acre, for example. All right, now I've got my delta application rate. That's going to be the rate that changes by me pressing the plus button uh, as I get to those run screens. I've got to select a crop type. I've got that filtered down to just corn and soybeans. We're going to go ahead and hit corn. I can also change the color of that variety then as well. That's how it's going to be displayed on the map screen as I actually apply the product in the field. I'll go ahead and finalize that by hitting add. And now I've got those products that I've created in there. All right, so that's adding to the product library. Let's actually go now and look at doing uh, or adding a product as I enter the field. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and go to my silo field button up at the top. I'm going to confirm that I am planting or applying that product in the correct location. It's going to give me that information across the top. Confirming that I've got the correct vehicle and implement tied to uh, that field as well. I'm going to end up coming down now to my seed boom. And I've got that selected with the blue icon there. A little bit farther down, I can come and add a product. Again, press that window. I can see what I've added in that product library earlier, or I can add a new one at that point in time. All right. So I'll go ahead and cancel that now that I've got that product. I want to go ahead and select that big cob yield that I had selected earlier. It's going to populate those min and max app rates for me, those default rates. And now I've applied that. We can also here add our liquid product if your planner is configured with liquid. We do have to add those products or you will get a, a layer alarm because there is no product defined to that, even if we're not applying that product or it's a zero rate. So make sure we have a product applied to each controller, seed and liquid, for example, on the implement that you're pulling. So that's adding products to a product library. Order that work condition for further information on adding products. Uh, visit your local Case IH dealer or refer to your operator's manual.